Morning St Nick's, it's great to be joining you this Sunday as we are uh, gathered together but of course still scattered. Today as I record it's raining so I've put on my Sunday jumper and I'm curling up with the dog on the sofa who isn't actually allowed on the sofa so uh, we must keep that to ourselves. Uh, just to begin with some items of church family news. Uh, we are, as you may well know, holding Encounter, our prayer meeting, via Zoom every Tuesday evening during May. And so uh, if you would like to be part of that, please do let Mandy in the office know and we'll add you to our circulation list. If you've already signed up, that's absolutely fine and you'll get an email each week with a link. The resources for Encounter will also go on the website, so if you would like to join us in prayer at 8 o'clock on a Tuesday, but not via Zoom, then that would be wonderful too, that we're all praying together in these days. A big thank you to uh, those who've given us feedback on our resources that we've been providing for Sunday, and uh, please do continue to give us any comments that you have. When this lockdown began, a, a couple of the principles behind our resources were that we wanted them to be accessible for all. We are still posting about 50 packs every week to those people who don't have access to the internet. And so we wanted what we put together to work for each member of St Nick's. And secondly, because we didn't know how long this would be going on, we wanted what we did to be sustainable. But we're also mindful of the need to keep things fresh. And so we want to build on our resources from time to time. And so one of the things that uh, we've come up with in order to do that is something that we're calling life under lockdown. And so over the next few weeks, you'll be hearing during this welcome video from someone else within the life of St Nick's. And we're going to be asking them to answer a few questions. What is life like for you? under lockdown? What are some of the challenges and the joys? And how can we all be praying for you at this time? And so today, the first of those is uh, Madeline Norman, who's going to tell us something about her life under lockdown. Hello, St Nick's. I'm Madeline Norman. I'm a member of the congregation and I've got a day job. I'm a GP. Uh, so I've been asked to tell you a little bit about how different my life is now that we're in lockdown. So I thought you might like to join me here in my lovely, bright, shiny consulting room. Don't use it much at the moment, I suppose, really. I used to see perhaps 100 patients uh, or more through this room every week. And now suddenly, I don't think a patient's been in here for four weeks. So... Some of my life is very similar to how it was before lockdown in that I still come to work. I still see people face to face when I come to work and um, I sit in this room, but it's very different. As you can see, I'm now dressed in scrubs rather than my previous work clothes. And I do all my consulting on the phone, which is a challenge and very, very different to how we worked before. And if you'd have asked me the week before the lockdown, if I could do that, I would tell you, no, it's just not possible. You have to see people face to face, but it's amazing what you can do if you're pushed hard enough. So there are some challenges in life, but in general, I'm feeling pretty blessed through this time. As I say, I come to work to and see real people um, and I suppose the most important blessing in my life is that I know God and I know that the at the centre of the universe is a loving creator and sustainer who loves me and is revealed to me in the Bible and, and that then I have somebody to thank and somebody to trust. I can thank him for the good things that happen in life. Uh, for the blessings that I can feel at the moment and I can trust him that he will get us through whatever getting us through looks like he's going to get us through this and that he's walking with us he walks with me each day and life has slowed down a little bit 
uh, because we are on the phone and we're not very accessible and people don't want to see us in case we give them something nasty. And uh, so I've got a little bit more time in life to pray and to remember God and to walk with God at work as well as at home, which is just great. So I've been asked to ask uh, to think about what you could pray for me uh, about. And actually, there are more important people to pray for at the moment. My colleagues in intensive care, in the hospitals, uh, even visiting people at home more often, like the district nurses and what have you, or the carers who are going into people's homes, uh, having so much harder time than I am. So please do pray for them and continue to pray for them to keep them safe and, uh, and to keep them holding on to God or to meet God would be great. But for me, if you want to pray for me, please pray for uh, the safety of my patients uh, and that I continue to adapt well to the ever-changing demands of this job um, on me to help me look after my patients better and better as the time goes forwards and uh, and stuff that have been that's been put on hold has to start up again. That would be really great. Thank you. Thank you, Madeline, for being the first to take part in Life Under Lockdown. Please be praying for Madeline and her colleagues in the NHS at this time. Another reason for doing this feature was because today we're beginning a new sermon series on fellowship. Last term, if you're a regular at St Nick's, you'll know that we looked at our mission as a church. And so today we begin a series that's beginning to think about our fellowship. And this is taking us through each section of our vision document. We'd always intended that this term we would talk about our fellowship and it seemed right to continue. And in fact, it's actually quite moving to think at this time what it means to be church and what it means to build up our fellowship together. Our vision document says that we have a vision of a church where we offer particular support, prayer and encouragement to one another during life's difficult times. And we are all in a difficult time right now and we pray that we will continue to encourage and support one another. So today, Will is talking to us about the foundations of our fellowship. The fact that Jesus said that he would build his church, that he will continue to build his church and is building his church at this time. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for Madeline. We thank you for the work that she's doing and we pray for her and for all those involved across the NHS that you would protect them and provide for them at this time. And as we come to your word today, Lord, please help us to learn new things about what it means to be your church what it means to have fellowship with one another. We thank you that you will build your church and we pray that you will do so today through us. Amen. 